Before tackling any numerical exercise, let's review the guidelines we've seen in class for solving ideal op amp circuits. First, we will assume there is no saturation. Later on, we will introduce saturation considerations. Secondly, check to see if there is negative feedback in each one of the op amps in your circuit. And third, never, never write a KCL equation for the output node of an op amp. Never do that. In class, we explained why not. But never do that. This is our first numerical exercise. We need to compute what is V0, the output voltage with respect to the reference node that has been pre-chosen for us. This is a reference one. And this one and that one, they are the same node. Let me call them the reference node. How many other nodes I see there? You say, well, this one, that one, and that, that's the same node, right? That is shorthand for electronics engineers to represent the reference node. There is one node here, node one, I will call that. There is another node here, let me call that node two. And there is the third node here, the output node, but we were warned. Do not write a KCL equation for the output node. So I will not write that as one of the nodes we are interested in. However, what are the unknowns for this problem? Well, there are three. V1 is an unknown, the voltage of this node with respect to the reference. And V2 is a second unknown. And of course, V0 is the third unknown. We need three equations. But so far, we can write a KCL equation here, a KCL equation there, but we are advised never to try to write a KCL equation there. We need a third equation. Which equation is that? The one that responds to the question we always ask. Is there negative feedback? Well, let's see. The output of the op amp is connected to the inverting input through a resistor in this case there is negative feedback so we can write we can write a negative feedback equation for this one and the negative feedback equation is vn equals to vp if there is negative feedback i repeat vn is going to be the same value as vp but in this case, Vn is V1 and Vp is V2. So the way we write that negative feedback equation is V1 is the same as V2. One equation, we need two more. KCL for node number one. Let's introduce arbitrary deductions for the currents. In our circuit, I would say this one and this one and this one and... Uh, it is, that is arbitrary, right? So I'm choosing them in any way I want. And now I can write KCL equations for, for them. Let's, let me write them here. I'm going to write them here. KCL equation for node number one for this one. Currents going into node number one. V0 minus V1 over 2. V0 minus V1 over 2. And that is equal to this current, but this current is the input to an ideal op amp that is zero amps. That is zero plus this current in this branch, which is V1 over four. V1 over four. What is KCL for the second node? KCL for node number two, this one. Currents going in. Well, this one and this one. This one is 6 minus V2 over 6. 6 minus V2 over 6 ohms. These 6 ohms. And this current is V0 minus V2 over 8. Plus V0 minus V2 over 8. And that is equal to this current, which is 0 amps, because this is the input current to an ideal op amp. Plus this current is equal to 0 plus this one, which is V2 over 12. V2 divided by 12 ohms. We have three equations. This one, this one, and that one. And we have three unknowns. V0, V1, and V2. Well, we can solve the circuit, can't we not? 
These are the two equations, KCL1 and KCL2, with the substitution of the negative feedback V1 equals to V2 equation into the second one. We swap it like that and ask for a solution of the system and get that the output voltage is 8 volts. V1 and V2 are 5 and one third of a volt. Let's write it down. V0 is 8 volts, and that is the solution. V1, by the way, is 5 and one third of a volt, which is the same one as V2. And that is it. Thank you very much.